do you want to be in love? Do you wish that you could find that one person who makes you feel like you belong in this world? All we want is a great love story, just like anybody else. But sometimes that's hard when you're a closeted homosexual teenager. Sorry. Hello. I wish I could see you. I know what you're like. When will I? You know how hurt I've been in the past. It's hard for me. You know, I love you more than I did yesterday. Come on. Say it. But not as much as I'll love you tomorrow. Good night, Eli. Get some sleep. I'll try. <laughs> Danny, it's so late. What could you possibly want? I'm not saying I'm outside, but I might be outside. Hello? 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 What are you doing outside my house? What does it look like I'm doing? Clearly, some gardening. Well, enjoy. Okay, so I just got smashed and dashed by this absolute sex god from Grindr. Can I come inside? Wait, that's probably the wrong phrase to use. You're gross. Go home. I can't. I'm thinking about my nuns. Oh, for God's sake. There's a key under the mat. Just don't let my mum hear you. <coughs> you can sleep that side. Who knows where you've been? Who's twisted your nipple and made you miserable? I'm not miserable. I'm just tired. Oh, of course. Has Noah still not revealed himself to you? And I'm not referring to his micropenis. No, he hasn't. But it's fine. Don't you think it's a bit odd? Look, it's all right for you. You're all right going off with a different guy every other night. I'm not like that. I need that perfect love story. I will try not to take offence to that. Good night, Danny. Good night, Elijah. Shit. Danny! Danny, wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Morning, Eli. Hi, Mum. Hi, Mum. Hold on. Did the package come for you this morning? I haven't opened it, but I wanted to. Well? It, it's just a book for class. Look, Mum, I need to head off. I know, I know. Just, just one question I need to ask. Yeah? Is Danny, you know... Mum, that's no one's business but his. I is. know, but I feel so bad for parents. I have to leave. Oh. I'm late. Do you want to leave, love? Jesus. I thought you'd never leave. Mum just never stops asking questions. What's that? Oh, hi, Mum. Find me blue bar. Did Tony Arida send you this? Does anyone else even know you by that name? Well, my mum, but she's been calling me that ever since I was little. No way! Shh! Interactive. 
cow extra. This best not be some Black Mirror Bandersnatch bullshit. Hello Eli, and if you're reading this, then it means that I sent it to the right address. I thought it would be nice so that you can hear my voice, so you know it's really me. After six months, I can't wait to see your face. But let's make this something exciting, like all great love stories do. Gay, yeah, shut up. This boy is crazy. You're crazy! You have 12 hours to follow the clues located within the book. I'll be waiting for you at the other side, but once the 12 hours are up, I'll be gone. Oh wow, he really is insane. Come find me. Love, Noah. Wait, what do I do next? He hasn't even given me a starter clue. P.S. The first clue is on page 7. Oh well, that was handy. Head north of Buzzing Bees, that's where you'll find me. Next to the graffiti there'll be a number ending in three. Well that's it. I failed already. Stop giving up so easy. My one opportunity to be happy in this world, it's all ruined because of a stupid little riddle. Oh come on, is it really your only opportunity? It's that blue pussy in Stevenson Square. What? Are you coming? Or am I going to become Noah's lover? What are we going to do about college? I'm sure the straight guys gagging over my juicy ass can last one day without my presence. Let's go. I just don't understand how it means Stevenson Square. Here we are. Are you calling it, or...? Well done, my love. You figured out the first clue. Now, turn to page six to find where I'll be next. See you soon. No. Well, what's next? Scans away. Well, that's easy, you know. I'm gonna be here forever. There's so many codes on this page, and I've got 17% left on the phone. Did you not charge it? <sighs> Did I charge it? No. Of course I didn't charge it. Hence why it's on 17, now 16%. Give it a year. I've got 25. I'll give it a try. Did you not charge it? Touche. How has it been an hour already? Eli. What? Well, my phone power is really low and I need it to pay for the bus, so you're gonna have to scan for a bit. I can't. What if Noah tries to call me? I need my phone charging, you know that. What if my boyfriend tries to call me? <laughs> you. You have a boyfriend. Don't make me laugh. As if you could keep someone longer than 10 minutes. Why not? Because you're just not that type of boy. Which one is it then? The sex god? The one you're planning on getting shagged by tonight? Tell me what you consider to be a boyfriend. Shagging someone for longer than 10 minutes? Fuck you. What are you doing? Well, Eli, I guess I'm just not that type of person to stick around, am I? I didn't mean it like that. I'm sorry. It's just the stress of this fucking quest is really getting to me. What kind of person is that, huh? Someone that sends you on a wild fucking goose chase just so you can fulfill a deluded fantasy? It's not like that and you know it. No, I don't. But I know I'd never treat you like that. Ever. Oh, and by the way, pause the goddamn video at two seconds and don't bother calling me. I'll be too busy bending over to answer. Danny, please don't go.
and others enjoy life, become who you want to be, own yourself. Yesterday is over, come tomorrow, the sun will rise. Only this final clue to go. Meet me in the comments. Why are you putting me through this? You know how much this means to me. Fuck, I've lost one of the only few people who actually gives a shit about me in this world. Is this what you wanted? To test me? To put me through mental torture? To try and get to you? I don't know what game you think you're trying to make me play, but I can't play it anymore. I'm gay. I didn't want to tell you because I'm so against having to come out at all. I'm my own person. Why should I have to tell someone who I'm going to love? I understand if you're mad at me or if you don't want a gay son. But mum, I can't keep living like this. It's killing me. Come here, you silly boy. So, uh, you still love me? Of course I love you, why wouldn't I? Just what you said earlier about feeling sorry for Danny's parents. Well, if you hadn't rushed off, you'd have heard me say you'd be my son. I'd be supportive as I could be. I'm sorry. <sighs> so speaking of Danny, is he? <sighs> yes, Mum, he is. And you too? No. Um, I mean... I don't think so. No, no, definitely not. I'm always talking to his mum and she said he is so lucky to have a friend like you and you're the only reason he ever leaves the house. No, that's, that's not true. Danny's always off out. His mum just doesn't realise. According to his mum, he never leaves her side. How would she... Eli, where are you going? There's something I need to do. your grinder outfit? Actually, it's my post grinder outfit. Yeah, ice cream really soothes the throat after... What are you doing here? I'm sorry for everything. I didn't realise until now. I've been so desperate for love that I didn't see it. Even though it was right in front of my eyes. Wait, you think I love you? Well, I'm not saying I do, but I might do. And I'm also not saying I do, but I might do. Hi, this is my last blog post. Thank you all for coming along this journey with me. My name is Eli Hampton, and I'm a proud and out homosexual. But most importantly, I'm happily in love with someone who has been here all along. <laughs>